Charles Woodson playing in his first playoff game since Super Bowl 37 with the Oakland Raiders. So a third and ten coming up for the Seahawks. 8-14 remaining fourth quarter. From the 40, third and ten. Since the second Seahawks touchdown, they have been outscored by the Packers 42 to 6. Yeah, they've got less than 200 yards of offense right now, so the two short fields, the, the only reason they've really been able to generate points, just that one drive, when they've been able to get down and get some field goals. Hasselbeck on third down, intended for Obamanu. Al Harris had him wrapped up. Now they, they have made these receivers for Seattle work for, for everything they've got. There have been so many big hits in the Green Bay secondary. They've challenged every throw. When people have made catches, they've been very physical coming up with big hits. Ben Obamato remains down with just over eight minutes remaining. Fourth quarter here in Green Bay. We'll be right back. For the Seahawks. They are going for it on fourth down, fourth and ten from the Packers 40. Hasselbeck steps up, he fires, incomplete. He was looking for the tight end Pollard. The Packers will take over on downs. It seems that Marcus Pollard has really been affected by the conditions tonight. He had an opportunity for a touchdown catch in the corner. Turned back to look at the ball when it was snowing out pretty good. It seemed to go right through his hands and then here again. Just kind of going right through it. And I want to go back and clear up the play with Matt Hasselbeck. When he went to throw the ball and it came out of his hands, but it did go backwards. Now, if you watch here, his arm's going forward, the ball goes backwards. But his foot was stepping forward down the field. If his foot is going forward down the field, it is ruled as an incomplete pass. He was not turned parallel or behind the line of scrimmage. Packers now start from their own 40-yard line. This is Brandon Jackson. Bounces it to the outside. Across midfield. Brandon Jackson has scored a touchdown earlier for the Packers. Picks up 20 yards on the first down run. A great job by the offensive line all night. A great job by Ryan Grant, now Brandon Jackson, being able to maintain their footing in these conditions and make some of the runs that they have done this evening is extremely impressive. Packers with 237 rushing yards. Ryan Grant with 201, the seventh player in league history to rush for at least 200 yards in a postseason game. From the Seattle 40, Jackson. Nothing this time. You know, Moose, we talked a lot about Seattle's defense and their ability to put pressure on, but you got to go and look at this Green Bay offensive line, and they just really negated what, what they could do today. Patrick Kearney, I mean, just shut down. That offensive line did a great job of running, knocking people off the line of scrimmage, pass protection, screens, I mean, all around. Got to take their hats off to those guys. Yeah, also the linebackers. I mean, the group of linebackers for Seattle had a great game last week. 36 tackles, you know, combined between the three of them. They were going to try and duplicate that today. They're extremely athletic, and they have been pretty much a non-factor this, this evening also. Jackson wrapped up by Craig Terrell. So third down coming up. For the Packers, we send our best wishes to Lee Remmel, who retired recently. He was associated with the Packers for 62 years. First as a reporter who covered the team, then 34 years as their director of public relations. Lee saw his first Packers game in 1944. He attended the first 40 Super Bowls. The press box here at Lambeau is named after Lee Remmel. And Darrell, yesterday we had the chance to visit with Lee and his wife of 59 years, Noreen. Uh, it was a great time. To spend, you know, the most impressive one, too, the, the Chicago Bear Green Bay Packer games that he's been to. That, that, that number blew me away. 123 Green Bay Chicago games. Five following the puck fake. Looking for Ruvel. Martin and we also send our best wishes to the longtime Packers chairman of the board Bob Harlan 
who is retiring. He's been with the organization for 37 years. He hired Ron Wolf back in 91. Ron Wolf then hired Mike Holmgren and traded for Brett Favre. So Bob Harlan, 37 years with the Green Bay Packers. His replacement, a former great with the Washington Redskins, the incoming president and CEO, Mark Murphy, former athletic director at Northwestern. Ryan punting for the second time. Jared Bush tried to keep it out of the end zone, but it bounced away from him. So the Seahawks will start from their own 20. Tuesday on Fox, Green Big. It's the exciting season premiere of American Idol. This year, the competition is bigger, better, and bolder than ever. Emotions will run high, and dreams will come true. The American Idol season premiere this Tuesday at 8, 7 Central, only on Fox. I think Brett Favre would win the competition if it was held here in Green Bay. He'd get an automatic bid from this area. He could hum and win that competition <laughs> if it was here. 38 years of age. Won the Super Bowl back in January of 97. Hopes to go back here in 2008. Hasselbeck in trouble. Down he goes. Kabir, Baja, Biamilla, along with Cullen Jenkins. He did not have a chance, Matt Hasselbeck. Now you watch how quick Cullen Jenkins are going to come both from the left side. Upfield against Walter Jones, nowhere to go. Both of them coming in. Tough game to be in. You just got to find a way to finish it. It wasn't your night, but it's a 60-minute football game. You've got to play 60 minutes. Second down at 22. Weaver wrapped up. Again, it's Kabir Baja Biamilla. The Packers all-time sacks leader. Makes the tackle. Four and a half remaining. Fourth quarter. down at 25. Hasselbeck, the slant, is caught by Ingram. Tackled at the 15-yard line. And the Seahawks will punt it away. We mentioned earlier, Seahawks have won only one road playoff game in their history. It was back in December of 83. Dan Marino's first playoff game, Seahawks with a 27-20 victory over the Dolphins at the Orange Bowl. They have lost their last six postseason games on the road since. Tough conditions for the Seahawks today, although they did take a 14-0 lead. For the Green Bay Packers today, they have set a franchise record, 42 points scored in a postseason game. Ryan Grant, seventh player in NFL history to rush for over 200 yards in a postseason game. Franchise record, three rushing touchdowns. The Packers with 234 yards on the ground. Seahawks, on the other hand, have rushed for only 17 yards. Disappointing afternoon for Matt Hasselbeck. Hasselbeck and the Seahawks brought the Packers to overtime in their postseason game here four years ago. Well, both of these teams are a pass-first team, but obviously Green Bay's rushing attack with the addition of Ryan Grant into the starting lineup the middle of the season ha has been the edge this evening. Uh, Matt Hasselbeck felt like Seattle was going to be able to run the ball effectively. Um, I, I didn't see it. I didn't know how that was going to be a factor in this game. They sit under 20 yards rushing right now. So, obviously, two teams that like to start off throwing the ball, but as Brett Favre comes off the field, I think the most memorable play tonight, that little stumbling, underhanded scoop to Donald Lee. The guy is just amazing. The emotion and the passion that he plays the game with, but 
I, I think what we found out tonight about the Green Bay Packers is, yeah, they may be a team that throws the ball a lot, runs multiple wide receiver sets, but if they have to, they, they've got a pretty doggone effective running game. Aaron Rodgers replaces five. Tony Ball in for Mark Tauscher at right tackle. The handoff to Brandon Jackson with two and a half remaining. What has Brett Favre done today? 173 passing yards, three touchdowns. One snowball in the direction of Donald Driver. He was also on the receiving end of at least one. But you know one of the plays that will get overlooked in this whole thing is him recognizing the spot on Bubba Franks's catch and going over to Coach McCarthy and they're watching the, the what is it, the Tundra Tundra, Tundra Vision. Tundra Vision. And, you know, hey, you know, we need to challenge this spot. They end up getting the, the new spot. It's a first down. They go down on that drive and tie it at 14. The celebration has begun here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The Packers on their way to their first NFC Championship game since January of 98 as Aaron Rodgers hands it off to Brandon Jackson on third down. The AT&T postgame show is coming up from Los Angeles with Kurt, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy. We'll have highlights, interviews, and look ahead to the Giants and the Cowboys as the Packers await their next opponent either in Dallas or here against the New York Giants. Keep in mind, Brett Favre has never won at Texas Stadium. He was 0-9, 0-6 in the regular season, 0-3 in the postseason. Now, should it be the Packers and the Giants, they played week two this season at the Meadowlands, a game won by the Packers, 35-13. That's, that's unbelievable that, that Brett has never won down at Texas Stadium. And I, I mean, our careers overlapped for my entire time with Dallas. And, uh, you know, I, I did play at Lambeau once, but it was before Brett was a part of the team, but every other game I played there, uh, the one other time we came to Lambeau, uh, I, I'd hurt my neck and wasn't playing that year, but, I mean, the majority of those games were down at Texas Stadium. In case you're wondering, Dow, the last time the Green Bay Packers won a game in Dallas, your rookie season, December of 89, you set a career high that day with 16 <laughs> carries for 60 yards. The good old days. You led the Cowboys in rushing, but the Packers won the game. They have not won in Texas Stadium since in nine tries. Well, we, we want to thank here. our cameramen who have braved the elements today here in Green Bay. Mike Denver. Rattus, Michael Drains, Dan Gibbons, Hardy Clunder, Winnie Bernfeld out in the snow great job by our entire crew producer pete Macheska, director michael frank associate directors fran morrison and judy wong broadcast associate gerard devascar technical producer dan Rotante, technical director chris castro thanks to barry landis who led the way over the first half of the season luke tribbiani wayne wilson dave chorus ben Bowman, matt banovic ricky camps pre-game show produced by scott ackerson directed by bob levy the associate director stephanie medina the senior vice president of production is Jack Simmons. The senior producer of Fox Sports is Bill Brown. And the executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. Brett Favre and the Green Bay Packers are on their way to the NFC Championship game next Sunday against either the Dallas Cowboys or the New York Giants. Another disappointing return to Lambeau Field for Seahawks head coach Mike Holmgren. Packers scored on six consecutive possessions. Snowballs between Favre and Driver. Green Bay wins it 42-20. We'll be back. The Green Bay Packers are on their way to the NFC Championship game following their 42-20 victory over the Seattle Seahawks today here in Lambeau Field. Time now for our UPS leaderboard. Brett Favre, 173 yards in the air, three touchdown passes. Ryan Grant, franchise playoff record, 201 yards and three touchdowns. Greg Jennings with two touchdown receptions. UPS, what can Brown do for you? For Daryl Johnston and Tony Saragusa, this is Kenny Albert saying so long from Green Bay. The AT&T postgame show coming up after these messages.